Seconds out, round one. Well, so it's another chance for us to see the man who calls himself the body breaker, Idris Virgo. After that excellent knockout of George Hodgins last time, terrific body shot that they are talking about in the gyms up and down the country. Virgo here up against Scott Williams. Seven fights, seven defeats so far. Turned pro last year, looking really to pay the bills and gave up his job in a call centre to fight. Fought seven times in 13 weeks, and I think Barry Jones finds himself potentially in deep water again here. He does, but, you know, I, I, I think it's all about just trying to be safe and trying to make the, the Virgo work is you know, just wearing himself out a little bit some of these some of these early exchanges. But I, the thing I like about this Virgo is that even though he's aggressive, good body shot there from Virgo, lovely left hook to the body. Even though he's very aggressive, we're seeing here, he's patient in his work, don't rush anything. Just slides in the distance nice and easy, looks to pick his shots very well. That work to the body was really impressive and you can see that Williams is feeling it already. Left hook to the body, again there. Williams is almost throwing arm punches already here. And Virgo knows exactly where to attack him. Then the uppercut from Virgo. It's a lovely proof all that through the guard there on the from Virgo. Just like to see Virgo just moves on the targets a little bit, that's all. Just a little bit of shuffle with the feet to the side. Just gives himself a little bit of a different angle. Just gets clipped every now and again. As he's looking to load up. Yeah, that was a good left hook from Williams there. As Virgo got a little bit carried away with things. That was his first stoppage. The win against Josh Hodgins. He can talk the talk, all right. He said I was in Love Island, but I show no love in the ring. He's a really good salesman. And... Uh, the start of his career anyway at this level, a decent enough fighter. Well, I think, you no. Know, once he's had that good stoppage, he's looking for another one tonight, but he's come out from the bell with plenty of intent in his work. That front, good pressure with that front foot. Not allowing Williams any sort of space, really, to try and produce any some work of his own. Williams is showing himself to be pretty tough here. Taken those body shots and come back with some work of his own. The final 15 seconds of this opening round. More work to the body. Good uh, straight left hand from Virgo as well. Action packed opening round. That was a good round, but we're looking for things power. Yeah. Don't need the water yet, I want to Good body work there from Virgo, and I, again, that was a... That, that was a theme there, really, for Virgo. That, that good left hook to the body, he got plenty of damage. Just couldn't quite get a hold of Williams out there, then some good footwork. Fleet <laughs> Virgo on Williams to scale out the trouble. But here with Virgo, he lands with some lovely shots there, but just holds his feet a little bit. It's a beautiful uppercut, just holds his feet and just gets clipped a little bit every now and again. But apart from that, it's a good positive start there from Virgo. Good work to the body, plenty of intention in his work, and Ten most seconds, important, nice and calm. Seconds out, round one. Oh, 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 oh. two. So round two between the self-styled body breaker, Idris Virgo, brief hiatus. Now we can start round two. Yeah, the body breaker was certainly looking to the body in that opening round. Mustn't get carried away with his own hype. There was some antics at the weigh-in that I know uh, raised a few eyebrows in the fight game. Unnecessary behavior from Virgo. Good, work, Good yeah. combination there, though. Yeah, it was right hand to the body, then rip, rip, they ripped the same hand through the uppercut. They're always expecting you know, a, a punch from the other side when he got caught with the body shot, so he... Good thinking on his feet there from Virgo. Yeah, I think you know, what he did at the press conference was uncalled for. He's not against a, a rival. There's no need to sell this, except for, you know, he just 
concentrating on the work in the gym, in the ring at the moment, in the gym and what you produce in the ring. But ultimately, your results will sell you. But at the same time, there's pressure on these youngsters today to do something more than ever before. The social media, they have to, do, they have to stand out and they think thinking by causing some controversy outside the ring does that for them. Yeah, Love Island isn't Barry Island, is it? <laughs> Another good left to the body there from Virgo. Williams just growing in confidence a little bit here, though. He reckons he had 400 fights as an amateur, unlicensed as well. Always been a fighting man. Born in Rochdale, trains in Trafford. That certainly hurt him, and Virgo sensed it. <laughs> Just covering up here, Williams. Just needs to change the tempo of the work a little bit now, Virgo. He's hurt him, but Williams is there. He knows he's coming. He's nice and tight, so just sometimes he's got to just reduce the power, a little bit of speed up top. That'll bring the elbows up a little bit, then whip back down to the body. The final minute of round two. All those things, those nuances, will come with experience, you would hope, for Idris Virgo. They will, but I think what's good with him is he's, he's set the pace, and it's been quite a fast pace as well. But he's patient with his work, he's not rushing anything, and I think that's nice, because then he's always in control of his breathing, he's, you know, he's not running out of gas, he's not loading up too much. So he's done up against a guy who, you know, who's really, you know, coming to, coming to win as such, let's be honest, but I think for what he's doing so far, at this stage of his career, it's good, solid work. And the feeling from John Pegg was always that he did his best work in the gym and hadn't really shown it in the professional ring, and that all changed last time. Aware of what a big opportunity this is for him on terrestrial television. And he's trying to grab it with both hands. Hey Phil. Right. That was really good. You can see when you stop looking for power up here. Have you come? That's a lovely shot. Just not so much the left of the body, which is a good punch, but the right hand over the top to lift the elbows up. And that's the important part. You almost gotta set it up before you throw it. That's a lovely shot, really well delivered. You can see there Williams there have the Bit of a gulp of breath there, but on that gum shield because he really felt that. Curtis Gargano in the corner with Scott Williams. Ten seconds, Curtis! He's already travelled a fair amount in his fighting career. Seconds out. Williams. Round three! Well, round three between the Love Island star Idris Virgo in those white trunks up against journeyman Scott Williams. Virgo looking for a seventh win. And looking to create more headlines on social media as well. I actually think Virgo could punch harder. He just slaps a little bit with the left hand. So what that means is he's hitting with the, the finger part of the glove, not quite turning the hands over with some of these shots. So it looks like there's plenty of weight in the punches, but I think he could produce more power. So I would maybe think that his his record of stoppages maybe belies how, how powerful he actually is. But the pressure's been fantastic from him. That's I think if anything, he, you know, he's had a free he's had a free target for the most of it, let's be honest. But I think the pressure that he, that he's put on Williams, not allowing him a second rest, that's been the most impressive part of his work tonight. The little bits of variation in his work as well. He has twice sparred Billy Joe Saunders and John Pegg. Said he did a lot better than many seasoned pros would. And that's a test of your footwork. Good shot. Lovely, lovely uppercut. Just leans back. I, I, I'm trying to be all critical here, but just leans back a little bit, Virgo, when he throws that shot. Gotta be careful he don't keep himself off balance. 
But when he does land with it, it's a lovely looking punch. Again, it's, it's not one single punch really that's, that's affecting Williams, it's just the sheer, the sheer pressure. And it's all to do with the front foot of Bilbo. Sticks it right in the centre of Williams' stance constantly. It's been all about Virgo applying the pressure and Virgo coming forward and Williams trailing in his wake really and just trying to hang on in there, just trying to survive for these four rounds. Final 30 seconds of round three. And in terms, Barry, of you being critical, I don't think there's a problem with that. I think if you talk the talk that Idris Virgo does and you want to get to the places he wants to get to, you're going to have to listen to people like you. Well, I'm sure, well, he's at the development stage of his career, so, you know, you need to know the things you do right and, more importantly, the things you do wrong and, and, and rectify them. But he's been good tonight. And to be fair, Williams has tried every now and again to fire back, but... Virgo's not either made him miss or made him pay. Just the gum shield there coming loose out the... Let's be honest, the open mouth there of Williams. Is <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, in his defence, I don't think he spat it. I think he's so tired. Yeah, big deep breath. That was actually a giveaway as to how tired he is there when he could barely bend over, just breathing so deep. It's been a tough workout for Scott Williams. And I think... I think it, that's that's another tick to the box to, to the boxes there is that he's he's worked that body which all right for the four rounded won't have too much effect but as the, as, as, as the fights go on the bigger fights the 10 rounders the 12 rounders working that body early and learning how to do that body work early you know we'll pay dividends as, as he gets into the championship class if he gets the championship class that is of course <laughs> Ten seconds, corners. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Seconds out. Come on, mate. Wake up. Love that shot. Love that shot, Scott. Well, that was a nice relationship between trainer and boxer there. Big hug there from Curtis Gargano. Willing him on for these next three minutes. It's going to be more relentless pressure. Coming Scott Williams' way from Idris Virgo. Well, the problem Williams has, he has nothing to stop Virgo coming forward. A solid jab will make Virgo think Virgo's allowed just to walk right up to him and then set himself with some good work. It's only little pockets of success with those long hooks that now and again Williams might have some, some success, but that's few and far between. More deep breaths from Williams. Virgo now, knowing that he's nearing the finishing line. He's going to pile on the pressure again here. Every time Williams looks up, Virgo is there right in front of him. Another good uppercut. Jump up, jump. boxes. A bit of good pace set here by Virgo as well, let's not forget that. It's only a four-rounder, and so he started fast, but he's maintained that pace. Yeah, there have been no problems at all with his fitness. Not a lovely way he dips down like that, especially because he got that, that head over the front foot. He got, got clipped there a little bit there. Here we go with the left hook. Straight back to the body he goes, and you can see the extent to which it's affecting Williams, who's just trying to get a breather here and there. Yeah, tricky little left jab there, wasn't it? He's just taking a walk away there, Williams. Love from the nose of Williams, too. More brutal work to the body. 
Let's go, give him some. He's looking at you. Come on, ten seconds. Come on, Lee. There's that trick again on, from Williams. Should have done that from the first round, really. He should have done, <laughs> shouldn't he? He gets a word from John Latham. He is desperately hanging on now. Little left hook there from Williams. Final ten seconds. There he goes again. This time, Virgo was ready for it. Uh, it's been impressive from both of them in their own way. It's going to be a comfortable win. It's going to be 40-36 for Idris Virgo. Still a work in progress, but hats off to, to Scott Williams, who is feeling that body, who is very, very tired indeed, but has done himself proud, Barry, in many ways. Yeah, he has. You know, I think, you know, obviously, the focus is on Vir with Virgo. There was only going to be one, one real winner, let's be honest. So it was how, it was how he performed. And I think, you know, he set a high pace. He stuck to that. I think he worked the body early, and again, that's that's all about building blocks for when his career gets up that next level, doing the doing the longer distances, of course. So he's working. They're thinking ahead at his camp, and that's good. They're thinking ahead about his future development. Worked the body well, and he's putting his pace in his shots quite well, and his good power. He slaps a little bit with the left hook at times. They see it there, just with the fingers. But for the most part, he, you know, he, he digs in with those shots without really loading up to expel too much energy. And didn't really give Williams a second rest, and, and and I think that work ethic that he had tonight was probably the most impressive part for me. Now in this wonderful sport, you should never preempt anything, but I suspect John Latham's job has been a fairly simple one here. And we'll call them in in a moment for the uh, official announcement. I like that as well from John Pegg. There's just instructions going into Virgo all the way through the fight as well. This is a work in progress. This is a Career at its beginning. Let's make it official now. After four rounds of light heavyweight boxing, we ask our scoring referee John Latham to decide the contest. He has it at 40 points to 36 points in favour of our winner from Birmingham, the body breaker, Idris Virgo. A different kind of display this time from Idris Virgo but still a winning one. The Love Island star rapidly becoming a star of the ring as well.